Hi, with the official video upgrade of Linux Mint 19.3 to 20. Let's jump straight forward and go to administration, update manager, and to be sure that everything is up to date. So if it's not, you just press the button install updates. So let's close it and go to the second part, administration, system reports. Here they are. So after updating it, now they already the system finding finally that have a new version of Linux Mint available. So it's ask you press this button and I'll tell you what to do. Don't expect automated uh, upgrading package or it's just a link to the official website of Linux Mint where you can find the instructions how you can do it. So, I don't think I no longer need system reports, so I'll close them. And inside of this page, you see a link. And when you click it, it's a step by step what you have to do to upgrade your Linux. You know, somebody knows already that I already made a video, but that was before have official uh, instructions and now they are official, so I'm updating with these instructions. First command, let's check if we can upgrade it, because since Linux Mint 20, only 64-bit version will be available. So if you have 32 bits, unfortunately, you will not be able to upgrade. How you can see, if you see AMD64 after the command, you're good, it's 64 bits and you can proceed with the next step. Let's assume that you're the lucky one and you have 64 bits. Go back to Update Manager from Administration, click Refresh button. That's what I missed the first time, because sometimes you need to click Refresh. Okay, our system is still up to date. So nothing to do, otherwise you have to click install updates. Second step, make a backup, just in case something goes really horrible, wrong, and you have to go back to the system. So go to administration, time shift. That's the package, have a lot of videos. I also have posted video how you can make a backup. So that's not important. Third step you have to downgrade some packages and repositories. Again, going to administrations, software resources, it will ask you for the password. Okay, and now on the left side, you have PPA additional resources. If you see anything Inside, you have to click selecting actually and disable it or remove it. Like additional repository, that's my installationable DVD. So, anyways, just to show you how you should to do it. Let's say it has been enabled and you can remove it if you want or Disable it. Just follow the instructions. The most important is just read one by one, follow the steps. They are just pretty straightforward. Next step, starting the upgrade. So first one, to install the small application which is actually upgrading our system. Yes. Okay, it's ready. Second step is to check if our system can upgrade without crashing. So this is a special checking procedure which does not make any changes in your system, just simulate it. Immediately says time shift must to be configured. 
no need to be used for backup, but you have to start at least one in your Linux Mint. If you have it already and you used it before, you don't need to do, you never see even this message. But for someone like me who never used, let's start it. It's actually just next, 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 because I will not make any uh, backups. And finish. Here it is. If you want to make a backup, you can do it from here with the button create, but I don't need it. So let's execute again the, this simulation program, a uh, command. Press enter to continue. It will start calculating and doing there the magic, whatever it's doing. When it's finished, the instructions are pay close attention if there have any errors. So let's check the last command saying this number will be upgraded, newly installed, blah, blah and no messages for errors. So if you have errors, that's a issue and you have to start digging because it's recommended to not proceed. So next step, download the actual Windows, oh, sorry, Linux Mint 20. It will take little time because it's actually downloading. So I'll just pause for a second and here we are. Linux Mint 20 has been downloaded. Now it's time to start the upgrade. Next command, upgrading. Yes. Yes again. Actually, if it's asking, you're just pressing yes. You have a reason to ask. That's meaning they need this message. Left arrow of the keyboard, you're going to yes. Because I don't want to press all the time yes, yes, yes to reboot any services. Let's do it, it automatically. Press enter. And it took a really long time. So I'll just pause and skip to the end of the upgrading process. And here is the last seconds. Done. The system is ready. Now it says, please reboot the system and give us even a command. So I just copy paste it, but I guess you can do it with the mouse. Copy, paste, enter, and the system will reboot. Ta-da! Our Linux Mint 20, it's up and running. I hope that you didn't have any problems. If you have any problems, you have to go to the time shift and redo, oh, excuse me, everything what uh, has been masked. When you start the browser, you see that you're going straight to the same page which we left. And they recommend a few other steps. Go to administration, software sources. And they have maintenance on the left side. The last one. And you have to click downgrade foreign packages. So, so, if you have anything inside, they said, please select it all and downgrade it. So, this is so your package will be stable. I don't have anything right now, but just for you to show you, click one button after them the other, and it will do the magic, hopefully, correctly. So, this is everything what uh, we needed to upgrade our Linux Mint 20 on the official route. Thank you very much to be with me and I hope I will see you next time. Bye bye.